Shane, Kevin, back with you. Another stunning upset in Boston. First, it was the Bruins on Sunday. Last night, the Celtics, they lost game one to a Sixers team playing without Joel Embiid. Yeah, Houston Harden taking over. Went back, back, back. How about tying a career playoff high with 45 points at 33 years and 248 days old? Harden, the fifth oldest player with 45 points in a road playoff game in NBA history. Harden has now scored at least 40 points in a playoff game for three different franchises, the Rockets, the Nets, and the Sixers, becoming the sixth player in NBA history to have a 40-point playoff game for three or more teams. As for the Celtics, they were they were 10-point favorites and they lost outright. That is the ninth outright loss as a double-digit favorite this season, most by any team in a single season since 1991. And Joel Embiid's status for tomorrow's Game 2 remains up in the air. It's been 12 days since he sprained his knee. And here's head coach Doc Rivers at practice today on the approach they're taking with the process. You have to do it the day before to see if the next day, if, if, if there's – increased swelling then even if he feels good it's a no mm -hmm. so that's what we'll have to find out tomorrow well, if he can play he plays if he can't he can't uh if it's 50 50 we, we would probably err on the other side because we've done that all year so it's just not we're not going to take any chances when he does come back if that's you know game two game three whenever he comes back he's going to be tired you know and we're going to have to monitor that as well that'll be a new thing to throw in probably our substitution uh rotations would have to change with him for much more on this story, Brian Windhorst joining us now live from Boston. Wendy, what more can you tell us about Joel Embiid's status, not only today, tomorrow, the rest of the week? Yeah, listen to Doc Rivers talk there. It's all bad news. You know, he's all worried about it. But actually, Joel has been making progress. Yesterday, he went through a shooting workout. He went through that okay. It's enough to where he progressed today, where he went over to the TD Garden and had a more thorough workout. And the goal would be for him to get through that without any setbacks to tomorrow. And then they make a decision. Now, there's no doubt, Kevin, that being up 1-0 in the series frames their situation. I think if they were down 1-0, it would maybe put a little bit more pressure. But I also think he's absolutely making progress. Let me tell you, game three in Philadelphia Friday night, if he's back on the floor, that place will be loud and crazy for four straight quarters, and the Celtics are going to have to deal with it. They gave up home court advantage with that loss. What is this team? They didn't have an answer for James Harden. What is this team, when you look specifically at the biggest issue, what are they talking about today? Yeah, well, obviously they didn't have the greatest defensive uh, situation, especially at the end where they failed to double-team Harden. But really, the Celtics probably lost this game at the other end of the floor because this reminded me of last season when they made their playoff run and that magic number of 15 turnovers. When they had under 15 turnovers, they were 13-2 and two in the playoffs. When they had more than 15, they were 1-8. and eight. Last night, 16 turnovers, including several crucial ones in the fourth quarter, one leading to the Tyrese Maxey breakaway layup that was absolutely backbreaking in that game. And look, that last round against the Hawks, when they played that magical game six, they only had seven turnovers. So um, certainly there's going to be some game plan differences against Harden in game two. But the Celtics, once again, battling some focus issues, which has been their Achilles heel in the postseason the last couple of years. Despite losing outright and being 10-point favorites last night, according to Caesars Sportsbook Celtics 10 point favorites entering game two tomorrow. Wendy, thank you. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN.